listen, you can have all of that. But once it's all said and done, if you've got nothing in the bank, True. do you know what I mean? It's, it's prize fighting at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? If you've got enough to show for it, you're a bum. Was there a particular focus on this camp of where you want to improve? Or was it a case of just, just again, staying sharp? Just staying sharp, just improving everywhere. It's an MMA at the end of the day. This is not boxing, this is not kickboxing. It's not Muay Thai, it's MMA. So you gotta try to work on all facets of your game, whether it's stri striking, uh, grappling, resting, whatever. So yeah, just staying sharp and just um, bearing my whole game. Yes, Lord. First trim. Yeah, always. Right. You knew the camera was coming. Huh? You knew the camera was coming. Mentally, with this fight, is there any difference? Is it just a an opponent, or is there something different about it? Different, before, different, before? different. Listen, we're going into round four here. We've been in there with each other. We felt each other. I felt him. He's felt me. Throughout the years now, since that fight, I've changed a lot, physically, mentally, spiritually. It's like being in Thailand, man. <laughs> I know he's his team didn't want that as a first fight, hundred percent. You gotta realize when he gets in there with me, it's gonna be eighteen months since he's fought. Once he feels me, he's gonna be like shit. He feels different. I get to go with the UFC guys. <laughs> There's a little bit of fear in the eyes as well. <laughs> We've trained this when I'm banging on five sevens. Pulled into the measurement. We've shoot. Five nine. You said sixty nine centimeters. That ain't right. He's talking about something else. Hundred and sixty nine. All the same size laying down. Let's go. Wise words. When you have a look at the PFL as an organization, mm. what do you feel like your role is going to be in that organization? I feel like I'm going to do great things there. Obviously, they see something in me, 100%. And obviously, I know I can do I can do bits in there. Got a great division. I've got a great division full of um, seven other bantamweights uh, around Europe. Uh, good fighters. Obviously, my first one is a, is a rematch against Franz Belambo. Four years in the making. I feel like I'm going to do some really, really good things. Um, in the PFO, to be honest, yeah. I'm going with black belt. If I tap him, he pulled it, put it on. <laughs> if he fucks me up, just delete it. needs to be done now, do you know what I mean? I know what needs to be down, done to stay at, a decent, stay at a decent level like PFL, Bellator, UFC, do you know what I mean? I know what needs to be, especially like me going out to Vegas. I came back from, from the States, switched on, man. Like, uh, if you see me in the gym right now, like, even my coaches are telling me, like, you, you seem different. So this, this chapter in my career is, about setting myself up now, do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot more at stake now, but obviously I'm fighting to better my future and fighting to better my family's future. With this season, obviously you get you get the belt and whatnot, but the thing is really and truly, I'm not really looking at the belt, do you know what I mean? I'm, this is prize fighting, you're looking at the grand prize, which is the, which is the cash. Changes the game. Topless changes the game. You see that? You got on top. Same stuff, give me away. This only works with me. All I can think of is the mark, the Mega Maid of me. The ones with the hats, which get rid of the time.
when you're sitting there and you're having to think about your sort of PFL career, what does the next maybe 24 months look like with the organization? Me winning this season and me advancing into the, uh, and introducing the bantamweight to the global season, which is the million dollar prize. And obviously me doing well in that. A lot of people forget that I'm still young because of how long I've been in this game. I feel like it feels like I've been in this game forever. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm still evolving. I'm still getting better. I'm still learning about myself. Do you know what I mean? So the never ending evolution, if that makes sense. It seems like you're mentally prepared just for every situation. Mentally, listen, I'm prepared to freaking die in there. He knows how tough and durable I am. Come on, clean it if you guys want the mat. This camera off him. This guy, too big to clean the mats. Remember? He doesn't record amateurs anyway, so it's a matter of This ain't Monopoly, bro. People being sent to jail with no property home, and it ain't fair. That I'll never have a yard down in Mayfair. So I'm left smoking packs full of Mayfair. Yeah.